in closing, what's your expectation? What do you look to do with this defense in, in spring ball? Well, you know, uh, like we said before, first we um, identify the best 22 so that we can play those guys. Um, so that that's that that's the main thing. The, the next thing is just just get better every every practice and doing what we're doing. If we're playing man, you know, better better during man. They're better in the run drills. And then at the end of the day, our individuals, those those eleven or twelve individuals that we say are going to be the starters, we want them to get better. We want them to get better day in day out. And then at the end of spring ball, we have twenty two guys we're pretty happy with. We got guys that really, really shine, and then our, our, 12, our 12 guys are going to be strong con contributors. They really, really excelled during those 15 practices, 14 practices. Okay. I said that was the last one. I got one more before I turn over to the other guys. How long have you known Mike Loxley? Uh, shoot, I don't know. I feel like I've known Lock for, Locks forever, man. I really, uh, I really enjoy his personality. I enjoy his knowledge of football, and so uh, – I, I don't know, you know, uh, football is dog years, so you can know somebody six years. It seemed like 24. So um, I, I don't know if I could put an actual time on that. You know, I know um, we worked together. I, you know, I don't want to start from when we worked together because we knew each other before that. So it's been, it's been, we've known each other quite a while. All right. Thanks. Good luck and welcome back to College Park. Thank you, Thank you man. Good to be back. All right. Hi, Coach. Uh, Jacob Richmond from the Diamondback. I appreciate your time today. Uh, just a couple of qu uh, quick questions. Um, first of all, you know, you're rejoining this program, but at one of the strangest, you know, possible times. Can you talk a little bit about what interactions been like uh, with you and your players so far? When you say strange times because of COVID? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, um, you know, you mask up. You know, I've always, I know if you if you know guys who play for me, I like to put my arm around them. I like to talk to them. I like to grab them. I'm, I'm, I like to hug them. I love, um, I admire, love, and respect my players in the game and, and what it's done for us, you know. Um, so um, FaceTime has been good. I've been FaceTiming to get to know those guys because we're not always around each other. Um, I had a Zoom, you know, we had a few Zoom meetings. Um, and then we do get a chance on the field to be around them with our mask on also. So, um, so that's, that's kind of how you get to know them. Yeah, I, I wish we could do more things together, you know, you know, just, just not yet. So with that, you know, the limited time you've got to speak with them and, you know, the, the tape, I'm sure that you've watched them, what is exciting you about this team? Just the effort. First of all, they're young. A lot of young guys and their effort. So you see young guys and you don't have to tell them, let's get to the ball, let's get, you know, you, you don't have to tell them that, that's, that, that, that's awesome. That's, that's something that, uh, that's pretty exciting. So their effort is, 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 is second to none. And then that's something we don't have to worry about as coaches, coaching effort. Now we can put in the details and get them to do what we do and get them to do it the way we want them to do it. Then my last question, kind of going into what you were just saying is, you know, how have you and the rest of the coaching staff been preparing and plan to execute to, you know, be able to approach the season on your own terms as much as possible? When you say approach the season on our own terms, what do you, what do you mean? So obviously COVID making things very difficult. You can't do, you know, exactly everything you're used to, but, but how have you guys planned to approach this, this practice season and being able to get to where you feel need to be going into the season? You know whether it's uh, uh, athletically, health-wise, uh, 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 game IQ, whatever you guys are looking to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah football. Is, well, first and foremost, the opportunity to have spring ball is huge. So that's going to help us tremendously, and we've been excited about that and ready to attack that. You know, our first practice is today, so we'll be on the grass today. So that's the first and foremost, and then. Um, we only get 15 practices, three of them are scrimmages. So then that, that now you're now you're down to 12. And then two, the first two, you can't be in pads. So you know, it just it, you really get about probably nine true real practices, practices. So um what we like to do is just kind of dive in, get get, like I said earlier, identify our best 22 guys, 
develop the rest of them so they can seep into that and then really just watch the individuals and get those individuals that are going to contribute better. If it's just 10% better at taking on a block and 5% better at covering men, whatever the case may be, but we just got to get them better. If we could get them better on a daily, uh, uh, every time we step on the field, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of our plan. And then we could go into the summer already having uh, an ideal of who's who, what they need to work on and who needs to make the biggest jump for us. Great. Thank you so much, coach. I appreciate your time. Uh, hey, Coach, I had uh, another question about um, a specific guy, if, uh, if that's cool with you. I know you know the personnel is still pretty new to you, but uh, Nick Cross, I think, is um, a guy who's really kind of continued to improve over the last few years. I mean, from what you've seen in the short time that you've been here and what you've seen on film, um, how, do, how much do you think he can really improve even next year and the year after that? Well, I said, you're asking me to predict. I yeah, yeah, no prediction, just what – basically on what you've seen i think that um, i think nick's a hard worker i think he does a good job of uh, being around he's a gym rat so he's always around um so i've got to say he's one of the guys you know i've seen probably the most because he's always sitting in my office or somewhere around talking to coach baker or something he, he's around um so i just think that um you know the sky's the limit for him he just got to take it upon himself to do what what he's asked to do as a, as a football player and uh mm -hmm. Study, study himself first, know yourself first. And then once he knows himself, when we start game planning for other teams, he would know how he's going to play those guys. So um, I think the sky's the limit for him. I think he's, I think he's smart. I think he loves the game. And uh, I think he does a good job of making himself uh, seen and ask questions here in the building. Mm -hmm. Kind of staying with those uh, defensive backs, uh, Levante Gator, uh, and Deontay Banks, obviously you already talked about Tar Heels still, but a lot of those guys, sophomores, underclassmen, saw a lot of time in the defensive backfield. How much do you think, even though in some of the games where, you know, the defense isn't playing so well, um, how much do you think they can really benefit from their experiences on the field from what you've seen and what they can really bring coming in this year? That, that, that experience is huge because that's a fast – that's a fast learning experience, right? So you could take that by looking, they can look at themselves on tape. And I tell, I tell defensive backs as well as linebackers, as well as D-line, everybody individually, you should look at yourself. And as a defensive back, I look at my, I should look at my feet. I should look at how I lined up. And those guys, you know, uh, I'll take Banks for, for instance. He does, did a good job earlier when I first got here, just kind of feeling me out asking what he could do to get better, talking to Coach Baker, and then looking at himself and seeing when Coach Baker says you're too far outside, now you can see that. Because I think a lot of times when you're in it, and you know this, Henry, when you're in some, it's hard for you to see that you're wrong. But now, once you start looking at yourself and know what you're supposed to do, you say, why was I? Then now you can correct it. So with those corrections in the book, in the bank, I think that um, – those guys are going to have a have fun spring football and now have an opportunity to be even better than they were last year. That experience of getting that stuff on film, that that's you, you can't get that anywhere else. You can't get that's better than watching yourself at practice. And kind of on the other side of that, you got a couple seniors um, that have been in the program for a little bit. Uh, when it comes to your sort of defensive system and the way you want your defense to be structured, how important are seniors to what you're trying to do both on and off the field? I think, um, you know, to be fair to everyone, it's not he's a senior, he's a junior, he's a, to be fair to everyone is because uh, I think there's no secrets. In football, it's hard to have secrets. If, if we if we run down there, this guy, nobody catches the ball, this guy, this guy sacks the quarterback, this, then nobody really knows whether he's a freshman or senior, they just see production. And then so um, that's what that's what we talk about. That's what Coach Locks talks about. If, if you're a productive player and you're doing what you're supposed to do on the field and off the field, then we're going to help you shine. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to help you. And uh, we're going to 
get everybody else to catch up to you. And you need to keep pushing yourself so everybody can catch up to you. But really don't look at it as senior, junior, freshman, as much as, you know, the player just producing, playing hard, playing fast, being a good person off the field, just those things.